third term. He holds it aloft now. It's Ashley Perkins in the ruck now for Bannockburn. He'll do it the ruck work against Adam Shembury. It's 10-2 playing 4-7 at half time. Start the third term. Shembury with a big thump away towards half forward. Running off there was Sears. Kept it in front of him. Nathan Rose back on the half back flank now. Just spoke about him earlier. He was uh, up forward, but uh, goes back now towards half forward. Richie overruns it. Lee's there also. Pavic rode the bump and then lost the footy in a tackle. And Stephen Gadd ridden to the ground. The umpire will now come in and bounce the footy. In fact, getting off the uh, the bottom of that pack over on the outer side, halfback flank, it was Kevin Connors, who uh, <laughs> that doesn't surprise. Who Peter said doesn't surprise him. And it will be a ball up. And it looks like Musara might have the job on Connors now. Or he's uh, riding somebody very closely there. Ruck contest going to be Shembury again up against Perkins. So the <laughs> Bannockburn side have made a number of changes with Rose back in the back line. The umpire now will throw it up. Perkins against Shembury. Goes up good to basketball leap there by Shembury and got the ball down towards Musara. Keeps it in front of him, then gets wrapped up. Tried to play for the free kick. None forthcoming. Slaps it forward towards Barry Delaney. Can run away. Handball. Off it running on uh, half on centre wing. Sorry with Simon Kelbert. Goes to back towards half forward. Lee had it and then dropped it. Handball over the top. Pushed on, great little tap over the top two to Barry Delaney. Can run in and can he kick the goal? I no. think he might have missed. Oh, from 20 metres out, and Barry knows that he probably should have kicked that, but it is one behind. You, you often talk about players. You often you? talk about players with no left foot. He was a left footer with no right foot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they go to 10-3-63 Werribee, 4-7-31. Bannockburn, Delahant goes in short and finds Kevin Connors. And now looks for something up the field. He sees Nathan Rose. Delaney has to make up a bit of ground. It's over their heads. Foot race now between the two of them. Delaney leads Rose. Slavinkas comes in support as well. Delaney can't keep it in. And it will be out of bounds on centre wing for a boundary throw. And some AFL scores at half time. Eric, we've got them. Uh, what have we got? Um, Hawthorne 5 8, Trail West Coast 9 3. Melbourne 7-7 seven, seven lead, Port Adelaide 2-9, and Geelong 9-7 lead, Carlton 4-7. So there the scores at half-time in the AFL. Perkins now has got the footy, kick smothered by Hawks, goes to Connors, slick hands towards Rick Harding, kick off the ground's okay. Pavic running at it, and Beck also, high tackle was it? Yes, it was. And Nick Pavic, who will play pretty well, who played pretty well last week against Thompson, gives it off to Stephen Gadd quickly, goes long, lead on from uh, half forward. Goosey couldn't take the mark. Now some support needed for uh, his teammate in Broom holding the ball. Play on the call. Is it advantage? Yes, it is. And it goes to Colbert. Uh, sorry, to Kelbert. Kelbert goes to the middle of the ground. Musara Perkins. Musara uses the body well against the taller Perkins. Gad can't take it with him. Stacks on the mill for Stuka. Breaks oh. a tackle. Can he break a second? Well, he just gets his kick away quickly. Good kick for distance. Goes into the pocket. Lee and Buck. Lee does well to get slap it back, but Delahant's there. Kick off the ground, just defensive play. Howlett leads Shaw in the race of the footy. Andrew Howlett's got it coming at him. Was uh, Pavic Howlett around the corner, left foot kick is pretty good, and for Stuka, oh, takes the mark against the smaller Connors, and will be kicking from 50. And you, well, you would not back him anyway. He could. Uh, I think he probably kicked the footy a fair way, Jason, for Stuka. Well, he did have one from about this distance in the first quarter and uh, it kept it kind of very low into the breeze. I think that breeze might have died down a little bit here at the moment. For Stuka, going to kick from uh, almost on the 50 metre line. Moves in, left footer. Comes in, uh, no, it's kept it very low, but he's not going to make the distance. going to be marked on the, uh, the line by Rose, who's uh, settled into the defensive role very comfortably. He finds Pavic halfback, but uh, great tap, tap away there by Colbert of uh, Werribee Centrals. Great pick up, handball across, and uh, this is uh, Delaney again, is it? On the left foot, he's had a bit of a ping, and what's he done this? He's missed again. So uh, that's twice he's been found wanting for not having a right foot, I'd suggest, in, a, in about uh, the first four minutes on the Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard, where we move to 10-4-64. They lead Bannockburn, who haven't changed from half-time 4-7-31. Delahant from full-back for Bannockburn, playing the zone defence, Werribee. <coughs> now Delahant goes towards half-back. Why he would do that, I'll never know, because Shembury was standing there, arms raised, and Damien Tom, who is considerably smaller than Shembury, was standing in front, and the bigger man took the, took the grab and will push the Centurions back into attack. Goes towards centre-half for the lead on Howlett from behind. Play on the call. 
couple of hands to it. Quick hands to Musara were fantastic. Robbie Musara, can he finish it off? No, he can't. And those hands came from Chris Delaney. But Robert Musara, one behind. And they go to 10-5, 65, Werribee Centrals. And Benny Burner, 4 7 31, Lexus of Wyndham. Third quarter scoreboard. We've been playing five and a half minutes. Delahant once again to do the kicking in for Bannockburn. So he's got much to kick to at the moment. Now comes towards Perkins. Slavinkas makes up some ground. Howlett was in front, couldn't take the mark. Off the ground, Harding. Goes towards Shaw and Festuka. Festuka looked up just at the crucial stage, but got it back. Jason Festuka from 45 and oh. has called the ball before he even kicked it, I think, for a goal, and he's put it through. He had the hand up in the air as he kicked the footy, I think. He knew that was straight through the middle for his second. And the 11th for Werribee Centrals. They're 11 5 71. They lead Bannockburn 4 7 31 on the Lexus of Wyndham third quarter scoreboard. Probably much better on the run. Yes, Peter, I was going to say. He, uh, he had a bit of momentum up that time and he got the distance easily. He's a typical left footer, though, isn't he? Like a big sweeping. Yep. Cer certainly is that. Ball back in the centre with the umpire. Players, and uh, I'm impressed with this young Chambry. He's uh, back into the side this week for his f first game this year. and... Uh, Gets a tap clearly again to Festuka. He drives the ball to uh, centre half forward. Got oh, great uh, work there by uh, it was Shaw. Cl uh, get the ball away there from Howlett, and the ball coming uh, back to the centre of the ground. Where it be uh, full of running? Festuka again gets the ball. Oh, he put it uh, handball oh. it straight to uh, the opposition. The umpires call the whistle on play. On well, holding on too long after he got rid of the footy there. Obviously it was, so it comes Connors. back to Pastuka. Pastuka drives the ball to uh, centre-half forward and he's picked out Harding of Bannockburn perfectly. I think the lead was by... Uh, that was... Uh, Howlett, it was. Howlett, yeah. but he was a long way from the ball, wasn't he? The umpire has uh, put a whistle on play. He's paid a free kick rather than a mark. I think the Bannockburn here goes toward Delaney. It's uh, centre-half forward. Chembury up high. Doesn't hold the ball, unfortunately. There's uh, Beck working hard with the ball under him. Could almost be pinged for holding the ball. He wasn't making much effort to get it out. But uh, the umpire has given him the benefit. And we'll have a, a ball up on uh, Tris Centre Wing. Eight minutes, seven minutes into uh, the third quarter here. Up goes the ball. Shembury again. Wonderful loop. Gets the ball down to Delaney. Delaney gets the ball towards uh, the centre of the ground. Players overrun the ball. It's, uh, well, it's just getting pushed forward. Finally, a handball comes clear from Gad of Bannockburn. And this uh, ball over the head of players. And uh, here's a good effort there by Hallam. Had eyes only for the ball. Handballs it back further to Morley. And Morley for Werribee drives the ball out of the danger area for Stuka over the top there of Connors. And that was a great one on one competition. Two of them, both eyes for the ball. And. Uh, well, I guess the height was the uh, crucial factor there, Pete. Yeah, well, look, Chops is only about five foot uh, at minus three. <laughs> and uh, Vasuka runs very hard at the ball. So, yeah, that was a good contest. Boundary throwing Shembury, double three. fister. Gets it down towards centre wing now. In front, take the mark, Rose. No, not paid. Play on the call. Needs some support. Got some as well. And goes towards the middle of the ground. Colleger got a hand to it. Runs for him to get around Delaney. Loses the footy, but Nappies is in there again, fighting hard. Tries to get the handball to Gad. Does so. Can't take it with him, though. Pressure from the Centurions. Slavinkas and also Delaney. Slavinkas leads in the race of the footy. Gad's there also. Loses his footing. Slavinkas is there again. Plays on. Inside 50 now. Conrad Slavinkas. Poor kick off the boot. One-on-one -on -one now. Delahant and Buck. They're both... Well, I mean, how can you pick out that, uh, honestly? I'll tell you what, Andrew Howlett. <laughs> he, he was... He was Alone by himself, 20 metres off Slavinkas then. Uh, I'd hate to be uh, kind of running through the coach's mind next Thursday night at, uh, at uh, selection. How can you pick a free kick out there when both of them are fighting each other? Because umpires always give it to the forward line. <laughs> oh. Well, Buck has got it from 15 metres out and puts through his fifth goal. Heath Buck. And that takes Werribee Centrals to 12-5-77. They lead Bannockburn, who are 4 7 31. Lexus of Wyndham, third quarter scoreboard. We see Andrew Howlett coming all the way up to the wing to talk to Conrad Slavinkas about probably kicking it to him when well, he's open. To, to the loose player, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that was that was a fairly poor play there from Slavinkas, and, and he did have better options uh, running into the forward line. and. Uh, I think the ball skewed off his boot a little. Uh, I think he might have seen the goalpost. <laughs> Does, doesn't kick the ball that well, I don't think, sometimes. That looks like uh, Burke is doing the ruck work for uh, Bannockburn again. The ball comes down, and uh, here's Werribee this time through uh, Delaney. But, uh, well, 
the handball a little bit too slick and uh, Pavic is in for Bannockburn, drives the ball toward the goal there, it's right across the face. Uh, good contest there again, but the defensive play by uh, good, good is uh, excellent for uh, Bannock, uh, for Werribee Centrals and the ball finally forced over the boundary line, 15 metres from the behind post. But uh, they're very, very strong in defence, Werribee, aren't they? They certainly are. Ten and a half minutes gone in this third term. 12-5 playing 4-7. It's 46 points the difference. Boundary throw in right forward pocket. Hallam over the back, brings it down and follows the play up as well. Little toe poke by Andrew Scott. Finds the boundary line and it is out of bounds this time around about 45 metres from the Bannockburn goal for another throw in. Shembury moves down there to the ruck against Shane Andrews. Thrown in now. Andrews comes in, Shembury gets it down well to Delaney, handball over the top, looking for somewhere to run onto it. It's only Damien Tom there though. The Major gets it around the corner. Delaney off the ground once again and out of bounds for another throw in. At true half forward, out of side. And uh, it will be Bannockburn still in attack when this ball comes back into play. Andrews moves down with Shembury. Pastuka over the back with Connors. Thrown in now. Shembury in front, Andrews. Gets it down to the side, Colliger. Left foot kick is absolutely beautifully smothered by Musara. Goes with the right boot. Long one out. Buck and Dallahan. Buck uses the body well. Takes a good strong mark. Two on two. On two. Howlett moves back there. And also coming out Lee. Howlett stands his ground over the back. Howlett off hands. Giles is back there though. Reads the play well. Oh, did he see Delaney? He must have. Goes short. Goes off Gad's hands. He has to keep running and it. Does well to push it out. 45 out. Now Delaney got, gets a shepherd but can't keep it in. The bloke who contested the mark was Howlett with Slaviscus again. <laughs> He's got to keep out of the coach's way. Doesn't oh, he understand that? I think he'll have to between now and Thursday night <laughs> next. <laughs> That's a boundary throw in. Just inside 50 for the Centurions. Over the back, James Lee gets to the front. Richie didn't take it with him. Delaney tries to. Gets away. Loses the footy. Back on it again. Barry Delaney on hands and knees. The umpire says it's mine and will come in and ball it up. Ball uh, 35 metres from the goal. Might be 40 metres. Uh, very close to the boundary line. In the forward line for Werribee Centrals kicking in this quarter to the southern end. Up high there is Lee, gets the tap away, but only as far there as uh, looked like, well, the ball's marked on centre wing for Werribee Centrals. Mark Ritchie. And uh, Ritchie kicked the ball. Now, Werribee come back into attack again. Howlett, uh, well, he's... Well, I suppose uh, the umpire's been letting them go most of the day. On this occasion, it was uh, for it's old Clinton, coach. Clinton Shaw. Well, that's a point. Clinton <laughs> Shaw was behind. He uh, just used the shoulder to no tail it out. I suppose Howlett, you know, accentuated it rather heavily and uh, went to the ground. The umpire uh, saw all that. He's going to get the free kick, the Academy Award, and uh, perhaps a goal. And he comes. Good-looking kick off the boot. It's drifted right across. The umpire moves right across, just offline. But uh, good kick into the breeze from Howlett, but not quite straight enough. Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard, 13 minutes into the third quarter. 12-6, 78, Werribee Central's. They lead Bannockburn 4 7 31 with the Brewers. Haven't scored in this quarter, Pete. No, and uh, that, that's that's a very scary sign, although, you know, their back line is holding up very well. Dallahan went short towards Richie in the back pocket. He goes short still to Shaw. Inside defensive 50 for the Tigers. Now he goes towards centre wing. Perkins is standing there and hand, off hands. Coming through Andrews. Can swing around on that loping left boot. Oh, it's a poor kick off the boot by the drainer, though. And it is out of bounds. On the full, it's going to be a penalty free kick to Andrew Hawks on centre wing. 78 playing 31. Lex of Wyndham bringing us this third term on Geelong Radio 100.3. Hawks goes towards centre half forward. Off hands, Howlett. Shembury's there as well. Ripped off though by Clinton Shaw. Over the top to a standing start. Shane Andrews gives it to Harding. His handball over the top towards Gad. Needs some support. Gives it back to Harding. Gives it, gets a good shep too from Stephen Gad. Left foot kick towards a running Ross Dillon. Good ground by the youngster. And Ross Dillon takes it at half forward. Directs it back into play. Andrews gets a hand to it. Can't take the mark. Got some support though. Connors. Little left foot kick. Good vision. Saw the major. Damien Tom on the outside. Gets a good shepherd from Pavic. Puts it high in the air. But it's uh, not very handsome unfortunately. It's out of bounds on the full in the right forward pocket for Bannockburn and the Centurions will be able to take the penalty free kick in the last line defence. The idea of Bannockburn is pretty good but their execution perhaps leaving a bit to be desired this quarter. That might have a little bit to do with the age like that did go through a couple of uh, 18 year olds through that whole yeah. transfer up the ground. So Yeah, fair point. Ball now at half back for Werribee. 
Kelbert's got it. Goes towards centre wing. Over the back, Shembury stood there. Didn't think it was coming to him, so didn't try and take the mark. He get, got good hands. He's a bit like Sean Stewart. He can do the work on the ground as well. Got it to Barry Delaney, who got it to Andrew Hawks outside 50. Buck gives him a lead, so he goes towards Heath. Can't take the mark. Howlett's there in support. Brings off one great hands to Heath Buck. And Barry Delaney now foot race. Can he keep it in? I don't think he can. But uh, the Buck Howlett show in the forward line is working beautifully. They've kicked nine goals, one between them. And then Andrew Howlett knew where Heath Buck was, gave him the footy. He got it around the corner and it's a boundary throw in the right foot pocket for the Centurions. Ball coming back in. Howlett doing the ruck work against Shaw. Tried to take it, can't do so. Ball comes to ground. Delaney, a little flick to Masari. Masari with, oh, a little chip around the corner. Almost good enough, but uh, unfortunately for him and for Werribee Central's not quite a behind on the Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard. Now 16 minutes into the third quarter. 12-7, 79, Werribee Central, they lead Bannockburn 4-7-31. It's a luxury to be able to have Sean Stewart coming off the, the bench. He's just come onto the ground for Adam Shembury. The number one ruckman in the competition coming off the bench. That's fantastic. It must be confident, Kick perhaps. in by Richie. <laughs> goes towards Giles. Shocking kick by Giles. Goes only as far as Andrew Hawks. Running past for Stuka. <laughs> Gets past College at sort of, and then loses the footy. And it's still at half forward, coming back towards Slavinkas. He's wrapped up by Giles. Now for Stuka again, just holds it in there. I think Jason might be finding out that there's a few boys here who don't mind tackling fairly rough, really, fairly hard. And, and a few of them run at the ball just as hard as he does. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Troy College are there, who's probably half the size of a Stuka, held him up very nicely. Stewart and Perkins. Goes back to Clinton Shaw, kick around the corner towards the middle. Pavic and also Beck. Beck in front does well. Oh, great, Roland Beck. And is that play on? No, it's not. Roland Beck. Right in the middle of Galvin Park with a right boot. Goes long. Fantastic vision and great execution. And finds Barry Delaney 45 metres out. Yes, there. Well, that's probably the difference in the quarter, Peter. I was suggesting that Bannockburn's execution left a bit to be desired. That was perfect. Yeah, and uh, it, it's. Uh, I know it's easy for us to uh, make suggestions up here. We'll just wait for him to wait on this kick. Good kick. Well, Delaney's uh, from the standing start is a much better effort because this time he's uh, split the woodwork. And, uh, in fact, first goal for the day for him on the Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard now. 17 minutes into the third quarter. 13 goals, 7, 85, Werribee Central's day lead. Bannockburn, 4-7, and they've been that since half-time, 31. At 12 and a half minutes into that quarter, we're now 13 minutes in. Shambri come off the ground. I, I, I would have brought Stewart on and, and let him go back into the ruck and found somewhere else for Shambri to play. Well, he is back in the ruck, Stewart, and got it down clearly. Coming off the half-back flank there was Musara, Savinkas. Stewart's in there again, handball back towards Pavic, got one high, no free kick for Stuka, oh, runs through like a steam train at centre half forward, goes with the left foot and which way is it going to bounce? It will bounce through for a behind two goals, one, to Jason for Stuka, they go to 13 goals, 8.86 Werribee Bannockburn 4, 7, 31 Lexus of Wyndham, third quarter scoreboard we've been playing 18 minutes in this third term. This fellow can kick a torpedo punt, Delahunt Yes, he can. <laughs> we were talking about earlier in the game. I think he's a glorious kick, Delahunt. There's an, another perfect execution of uh, how to kick the ball back into play. Found his teammate there in uh, Nathan Rose on half-back flank. But uh, very impressed with uh, his skills, Delahunt. Rose goes to the centre of the ground. Here's the young man. Yes, oh, well mark. done, Ross Dillon. Takes the mark in the centre of the ground. Perhaps uh, a little bit apprehensive, but plays on quickly. On the left foot, goes towards half-forward. Body work there from uh, the other young fellow in uh, Carroll. Push the ball forward, but uh, oh, oh, well done, oh. Collager. You know, just push the ball forward, backwards, to his advantage, and uh, then finally kicks it toward the head of the goal square. Ball comes to ground. Bannockburn, can they get a goal out of this four? I know they can't, because here goes uh, Werribee Central's once again. One bounce, runs a fair measure, kicks the ball long, and there's Delaney out on his own. It's two on one. The ball comes over the top to the running player for... Uh, Werribee, but uh, Pavic there intercepts brilliantly. Finally, the ball comes clear. Bannockburn just can't really uh, come clear until it goes to Perkins. He sees uh, Pavic out on the centre wing. But again, great work by uh, Werribee until Tom butters up to assist his teammate for Bannockburn. And he gets the ball to, uh, to half forward. And that looks uh, a little bit like uh, Shane, Andrews. Shane Andrews has taken the mark. On centre wing, long driving left foot, goes to the top of the goal square, big pack of players there, comes down to the ground, that looks like was that Collager again, snaps up the crumbs, hooks it over the left shoulder, but unfortunately not quite far enough and only behind on the board. And that, in fact, the 
19, 20 minute mark of the second quarter. The first score with the Breeze in this quarter for Bannockburn. They move to 4 8 32 on the Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard to Werribee 13 8 86. Well, they're showing a bit poo to those youngsters, aren't they? they a bit of under 18 footy there, too. Dylan tried to find Carroll at half forward. They've probably done that a few times in the under 18s. But the kick back in has come back towards uh, Colliger who uh, is close to Bannockburn's best player this afternoon. Goes long. High, Andrew. So up. That should have been a free kick. None forthcoming. Pushed in the back. Scott wants to get it wide. Foot race now, and he might uh, lead Dylan in the race of the footy. Doesn't keep his feet, but does see it over the boundary line for a throw-in about 30 metres around from the Bannockburn goal. For a throw-in, it's 13-8 playing 4-8 with Werribee in control. We see Slavinkas coming off the ground. As the boundary throw-in happens with Stewart and Andrew. Stewart uses that big frame of his, goes to the side and punched on further by Musara. Out of bounds, we see coming onto the ground Tim Smith and coming off Slavinkas. Tim Smith for his first run this afternoon. And it will be a boundary throw-in at half forward now with Bannockburn attacking to the northern end of this third term. Stewart and Andrews to do the ruck work. Thrown in now. Stewart in front, Andrews with the leap from behind, goes to the front, Carroll roves it well, and gets it towards uh, half forward, but a good mark taken by Andrew Scott in front of Dylan, and Andrew Scott plays on quickly, goes towards the middle of the ground, Barry Delaney, is it measured for him? Oh yes it is, and Barry takes a good overhead mark, plays on quickly, sees uh, Smith running, will it get there, Donaldson, or oh, it doesn't keep his feet, crucial, because he's got three against him, one of them's Justin Morley, Morley on the left boot, goes towards Buck and Howlett, Howlett over the back, Clinton Shaw, Shaw and Howlett, foot race now, Clinton Shaw will want the safety of the line, Connors, kick off the ground by Buck, is it a goal? I think it might be, oh, and it is, Heath Buck, soccer style goal, for his sixth, and the 14th for Werribee there, 14 8 92, and they lead Bannockburn 4 8 32. Lexus of Wyndham, third quarter scoreboard, 22 minutes gone. And it's interesting, that ball moved very, very quickly off the half back line, and it's, it's just something that uh, um, we all went through the rattly age of 18. Uh, Dylan gave away a free kick, and, and when he gave the ball back to Delaney, he actually just gently threw it back to him and Delaney was already on a march and just he more or less said here you go now play on <laughs> because he, he just let him run away. Interesting the goal Connors tried to kick it through from behind the longer legs I think of the <laughs> buck uh, told out. Ball thrown up in the centre of the ground run away again oh big punch there by Stewart he gets it towards half forward flank but no players there for Werribee Bannockburn this time through uh, McGrath unable to uh, well didn't have the confidence to get it up and, and run did he and uh, the uh, forwards there uh, through Werribee were able to maintain the ball in there as good work by Hawks. Really uh, tied him up, and now the ball is still on half forward flank for Werribee. <laughs> up high there was uh, Lee. Gets the ball to ground. Players uh, not able to get it out, and the, uh, the central umpire will come in once again. 23 minutes in the third quarter. 92 plays 32 with uh, Werribee Central's fairly comfortably in front at this point. Up goes the ball, half forward flank for Werribee. Good body work there by Perkins, gets it to uh, Pavick. Pavick to, to uh, the centre of the ground. In front there for uh, Bannockburn is Colliger again. Sees uh, Pavick who's moved across the ground. Handball back to Colliger. Colliger, well, it's an up and under. I don't know where that's gone. The only player in posi posi position is Sears of uh, Werribee and he gets the ball, kicks it towards half forward flank. The lead there from Hawks. Hawks takes it round on the right foot, tries to get it back towards, uh, that was Lee again. Unable to pick it up, but he butters up on the ground so well. Lee does very well for a big fella. Almost throws it across to Buck there in the full forward position. He pushes it forward, but uh, this time it's the Bannockburn defence through good. Working overtime at the present moment. will be more than happy to put it over the boundary line, but in the meantime, the umpire's found a free kick. It's over the shoulder. It's going to uh, Werribee Centrals. And uh, was that Delaney? Yep. He's seen uh, a player there at centre-half forward. The kick uh, didn't get its mark. And now it stacks on the middle through centre-half forward. And the umpire will come in once again. 24 minutes into the uh, third quarter. And uh, Peter indicating should have been a free kick. It in is. fact, it is. And the uh, back. it's gone to Nick Pavick. Pavick goes laterally across towards Rose or poor kick because it's let set Kelber up. Simon Kelvitt's able to take the mark at the top of Rose. Outside 50 now, the lead on by Buck Dallahan. Buck does well and takes a good mark. Under pressure, good kick to Simon Kelvitt. Kicked it to uh, Buck's right 
left-hand side, just was able to fend Delahant away, push him under the ball a little bit, and Heath Buck, who has kicked six goals, has a shot from 30 metres out right on the boundary line. He's on the right side for a right footer. And Heath Buck comes in. And I think he might have missed it, has he? Yes, he has, 4-1 behind. His first blemish. Six goals, one for Heath Buck this afternoon. And they go to 14-9-93, Werribee Centrals. They lead Bannockburn 4-8-32, Lex of Wyndham third quarter scoreboard. Umpire hadn't finished waving the flag before Steve Dallahan kicked it short to Perkins, so they'll have to come back. And does so now, he plays on. And elects to go to the outer side on this occasion. Good kick too, towards the half-back flank. Kelbert goes up, can't take the mark. Renowned for a big fly too, Simon Kelbert. Coming off hands now quickly from uh, Tim Smith. Punch back towards half forward. Numbers with Bannockburn. McGrath's able to run away with the right boot. Go wide towards Rick Harding. Good vision and finds the two number ones out there. Harding leads Morley in the race for the footy. He goes oh. back in board. Shocking kick though. Was looking for a lead that came from Dylan, but Hawks chopped it off. Gave it to Andrew Scott who ran away. Right foot kick. Poor kick off the boot. Shaw keeps his feet. Howlett doesn't, so Shaw should be able to run away. Just gets his kick away. Back towards Dylan. Takes a chest mark. And Dylan in the middle of Bannockburn has got east wide. And Giles, they can set something up here now. Lincoln East can keep coming. He's got a paddock. He goes to the left boot. Pretty poor kick in the end. Going to go over the head of Carroll. And his direct opponent, Hart's able to thump it away over the boundary line for a throw in. They could have done a little bit better there, I think, the Tigers from half forward. Well, there was no pressure at all then on, on uh, Lincoln East. He had three options to kick to, and he, he couldn't find any of them. He really just set the ball up to be punched over the line. Yes, really uh, gave the young fella no chance, young uh, Carroll up there, and that's a bit unfortunate. He's been quite competitive in his first game, doing well. Ball comes in. Well, tap forward by Stewart, comes to ground. That's Andrews trying to crash his way through the pack. Comes to Connors, caught high. One uh, caught high, two without the ball, it suggests, and uh, whilst uh, perhaps if it had been a goal, they might have paid advantage, but the ball was kicked out of bounds in the fall. So it come back to Kevin Connors, who's, uh, well... Probably outside his kicking range, I think, Pete. <laughs> By about halfway. And, <laughs> and for, that, for those listening, uh, he, he's standing on the 50 <laughs> line. So Kevin Connors are waiting for the uh, the ball to come back. We've been 27 minutes into uh, the third quarter here. And the ball finally comes back to Connors. Sees the lead at the full forward position, but oh, it was telegraphed, I'm afraid. The uh, Werribee defence have done uh, very well. The ball comes back to East on half forward. He's, uh, well, he's done another shocking kick and in fact that's two in a row from East both on the left foot and uh, that one very fortunate not to be out of bounds in the fall he has gained some distance the ball now 35 metres from the behind post almost 28 minutes gone in the third quarter 93 Werribee Central's 32 uh, Bannockburn ball comes in can Bannockburn score late in this quarter comes to ground there's Connors coming through Handball across. He's found Pavic. Pavic turns one step on the right foot and goes bang. And Nicky Pavic has kicked a much needed goal there for Bannockburn at the 28 minute mark of the third quarter. The Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard. Bannockburn 5 8, 38. They trail Werribee 14 9, 93. Well, we said, uh, Pete, that at half time, they, if they had a good first couple quick ones, Bannockburn, they would have certainly been back in it. They trailed by uh, 30 points at half time, but they just uh, haven't been able to really. They've mucked around with a bit across half back, and then when they've got to half forward, they've sort of turned it over, and that's where they've been dealt some blows when Werribee moved the ball pretty quickly. Yeah, I think Bannockburn's probably had more of the ball and uh, have really just, you know, just pushed the ball around, chipped it round and worked it and worked it, and Werribee just kind of sat back, waited for the mistake to happen and then just paid, made them pay the penalty. Back in the middle now. It's going to be Sean Stewart up against Ashley Perkins. Stewart gets it down. College of though, Roves. Goes high towards centre-half forward up. Andrews can't take the mark. Got one high, high. And will take a free kick. And Shane Andrews has got it. Shane Andrews now, left boot, goes long towards full forward. There's a number of Werribee Central's players back there. One of them's Andrew Scott, goes wide towards Smith. Smith's there, Tim Smith can't keep it in and is out of bounds. We've got ads, I don't know whether we've dropped out again. Ball out of bounds, half forward flank for uh, the Bannockburn side. Almost 50 metres. Ball comes back in, Stewart in front. Ball goes forward, great mark there in defence by uh, Scott of uh, Werribee Centrals. Plays on quickly. Yep. Oh, 
Why have we got ads on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me back there? Hello, can you hear me? Oh ho! I don't think they can. Hello? 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 Why do we keep dropping out all the time? What are they doing? Ah. Thanks Ian, and back here now Gad's got the footy at half back for Bannockburn, trying to drive and get around Buck, in fact goes, and then kick partly smother, goes to Kevin Connors, short little kick towards East over his head though, Roland Beck takes the mark and plays on quickly, close to the boundary line, and gets it back towards half forward, going up, can't take the mark, can he howl it? Yes he can, says the umpire, and Andrew howl it. We'll have a shot for goal from about 30 metres out, 45 degree angle, he has kicked four goals, one this afternoon. A chance to kick his fifth and Werribee's 15th. Certainly had his eyes on that mark, didn't he? he uh, whether it was a mark was debatable. A few hands in there, but uh, he came down to finish Andrew Howlett. So Howlett now on that left boot. Comes in and he's not happy with himself. He's pushed it to the far side for another behind. So four goals, two. They go to 14-11-95, Werribee Centrals. They lead Bannockburn 5-8-38. Lexa Wyndham, third quarter scoreboard. Eric, when you're a young fella kicking goals, you surely would have been told to kick through the ball. Well, now the fact that too, you run toward where you're going to kick it, Peter. I think he ran toward the point person. That's where he kicked it. That's where it. he kicked it. A kick in from Delahant found Tom goes wide, looking for a Pavic, who came at pace, couldn't take the mark, but might get a second attempt here. Goes wide, him and Kelbert. And Pavic keeps it in, does well, fights hard. Then he's kick smothered though, needs some support. Gads there, quick hands back to Perkins, standing start, right foot, kicks okay. Can find Robbie Giles, he plays on quickly. And Beck coming at pace, can't stop him at the right foot, kick goes there. Andrews floats back, takes a good mark, the drainer. And should be able to line them up from 35 metres out. 45 degree angle. Pete, that really was a good mark. He didn't know what was coming out from the forward, did he? He was running running blind straight into oncoming traffic, yeah, and just kept his eyes on the ball and uh, stayed focused and took a good mark. And uh, hopefully be able to cap it off with a, with a, a goal that Bannockburn really need to keep some respectability in their score. Quality player, this fellow, and uh, Shane Andrews now. 30 metres out on the left foot, comes in. The goal umpire, well, I think it's the second or third one he's hooked a bit today. And uh, unfortunately, he's hooked that a fair way and only gets a behind. And on the Lexus to Wyndham scoreboard now, 33 minutes gone. It's been a long quarter, only 28 the second quarter. So uh, I hope the timekeepers are still with us, haven't gone home. But uh, so 14, 11, 95, Werribee Central's 5, 9, 39, Bannockburn. As I say, almost 34 minutes. For Stuka now from fullback, holds the ball off. So that means he's going down the middle, I suspect, and he does. Looks for Kelbert from behind. Andrews in front. Can't take the mark. Comes to the back. Kelbert again has got a chance. Got back in, back in support. Getting back there, Tom. Had Gad, but elects to go the left boot around the corner. Now Lincoln East, if it sits for him, Scott comes at pace. They're going to hit the ball. Oh, great work, Lincoln East. Sets up Troy College, and Nappy should finish it off. He runs in, and he's missed to the near side. And disappointing, not only for Bannockburn and Troy College, but for Lincoln East, who did some good bustling work there to take the footy inside 50. And Bannockburn go to 5, 10, 40. They trail Werribee Centrals, who are 14, 11, 95. Lexus of Wyndham, third quarter scoreboard. It's uh, probably Ray Carlton and uh, Graham Marshall up in the timekeeper's box talking about what they're going to get up to tomorrow, Anzac Day. <laughs> <laughs> Punch over the back from Robbie Giles. Sees the ball over the boundary line for a throw-in at half-forward for the Tigers. And uh, nearly 35 minutes gone. 
Could you imagine those two old timers out in the tear, Jase? It's a, an ugly thought, actually, Pete. <laughs> an ugly thought. Back in play. Perkins well gets the kick away quickly. Dylan goes up from behind, though. And uh, coming at it quickly was Hallam. Harding's there, does well. Spins, gets a left foot kick around the corner. Running out and getting back there is Hallam once again. Just wants to soak the boundary line. And it might sit for Beck. It doesn't, and it is out of bounds now. About 30 metres around from the Bannockburn goal. I, I, I like the style of this young Dylan. He, he does... Uh does do some very good things. Probably the only thing that lets him down, he, he doesn't continue to run all the time. Once he thinks he's out of the contest, he just stops and the ball can come back so quickly. Throw in. Stewart with the right fist on this occasion. Goes to the side of the pack. Coming across was Pavic, who has uh, impressed me this afternoon too, Pete. I think he's played pretty well, Nick Pavic. Yes, he has, yeah. I think he's, uh, he's certainly done nothing wrong on that uh, central wing area. Ball half forward flank with the umpire. Oh, well, we almost 36 minutes. I really do think the timekeepers might have gone to sleep because uh, there haven't been that many goals. Only about five for the quarter. Ball back to centre wing. Both uh, Perkins and Howlett can't take the mark. Perkins recovers best. Gets the uh, foot to the ball. Oh, oh, great, great mark. mark in front of the pack there by uh, Colliger and Colliger of Bannockburn. Long kick toward the goal square. Down there is Andrews. Can't take the mark. And off hands, it's one more behind to the Bannockburn side. On the Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard, they move to 5 11 41, but they trail Werribee Central's 14 11 95. 36 and a half minutes gone in this third term. It's going to be Jason Festuka once again from fullback. He's got uh, Tim Smith in the middle, but he elects to go to the halfback flank looking for Stuart Perkins there, though. And Ashley Perkins takes the mark in front of Sean Stewart. Needs. Uh, a lead, he's got a couple, Andrews gives him one, he goes in that direction now, as he measured the pass okay, Drainer from behind, can't keep it in, and he's out of bounds, oh, neither can Rick Harding, it will be a boundary throw, and once again about 40 metres around from Bank Burns' goal. With the scoreboard like it is, like at the moment there's a nine goal difference, uh, it, it is interesting to see Bannockburn are still trying to be creative and still every opportunity they get they're, they're making plenty of leads into the forward line. They're really missing bowl aren't they, they're just one big man short now. Yeah. Comes to the side of the pack for Stuka. Tries to ride the Andrews and Connors bump. Great Set, decision. Set, yeah. holding Absolutely the ball. sensational decision. It's taken a while to come, hasn't it? But there it is. Yes, holding the ball. Jason Fatuka, he tried to take them on again. And uh, even though the tackle was high, I think he'd had ample opportunity to get rid of the ball. And the Peter's point is well made. Connors from uh, 45 metres. And I'll tell you what, he's uh, oh, just say 40, not quite made the distance. Don't, Eric, don't <laughs> say 45 metres. Jeez, if Chops hears that, he'll think he can kick them all the time. Well, there you go. Unfortunately, he didn't. <laughs> it certainly went through the goals, but uh, on the Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard, Bannock went 5-12, now 42, but they try Werribee Central's 14-11, 95. plays on and kicks out over 65 metres, and taking the mark at halfback is Simon Kelbert for the Centurions, drives the ball long towards half forward, three on three, Howlett, the sit from behind, rise to the front, pa Pavic. And he goes towards half forward. Colliger, if he can grab it, he's in. But he can't do so. Comes back towards the middle of the ground. And Crystallini has got the footy. Goes towards half forward again. Lee goes up early. No free kick, no mark. Comes to Clinton Shaw. Goes wide, looking for Donaldson. Doesn't sit for him, though. Barry Delaney comes at pace. Gets a good shepherd from Beck. He's on centre wing. Dodges around Donaldson. Handball's good. And sets up Musara. Wants to work it back in towards centre half forward. Does well. Howlett by himself can take the mark and play on quickly. He's got players running everywhere. Heath Buck on a lead. Has a kick going. Not too good because it's two on one now. Pat Perkins worked his way back down there. Buck oh, trying to keep him. Was that out of bounds on, on the, the full? full? No, it's out of bounds for a throw in. 15 metres around from the goal. And Perkins worked his way back from the middle of the ground into the hole in front of Heath Buck. Stood there knowing that the ball would probably come down there sooner or later and just uh, was able to work across there with Delahant. Been playing 39 and a half minutes, nearly f 39 minutes we've been playing. Oh, I think uh, what they've probably done is just call three-quarter time off and they're just going to play through. <laughs> so actually nine minutes into the last quarter, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Boundary throwing once again, knocked back out of play. I knew we were, we were uh, perhaps unsighting the uh, timekeeper's time box, but I didn't think it was that bad. Actually, we, we had a few technical difficulties. I wonder if the power's gone off in the timekeeper's box. Well, boundary throwing again. Lee from behind. Falls to the side of the pack. Coming through. Oh, danger. They wanted to see it through for a behind, I think. A rush behind. Bannock burn the defenders. They do so. 
and it is once again 14 12 96 Werribee Central's Bannockburn uh, 5 12 42 I'll tell you who will be happy is Lexus of Wyndham they've had a 40 minute quarter sponsoring this third term yeah. we've mentioned them a number of times so they'll be fairly happy I think Rick Bellani and the team down there in Werribee the short pass is okay from Delahant finds Harding in the back pocket Harding, oh, short, dangerous, over towards Gad and Dylan. Dylan wants to get around on that left boot. Does okay. Beck, though, leads Giles in the race of the footy here and just gets his kick away as well. Harding's there, though. Should be able to take an uncontested mark and does so. And there is the siren. Oh, it was a very quick siren, too, on add. But we have had a 40-minute third quarter. And at three-quarter time, it is Werribee Centrals, who are 14-12-96. And they lead Bannockburn who are 5-12-42 in that third term. Werribee were able to kick four goals, ten, would you believe? Four goals, ten, Werribee kicked, while one goal, five, was kicked by Bannockburn. The goal scorers for the Centurions at the lunch change. Heathbuck has six, Andrew Hallett has four, and, sing and, and also Jason Pastuga has two. Singles to Barry Delaney and James Lee, while for... Bannockburn, two goals to Ashley Perkins, singles to Shane Andrews, Nick Pavick and Troy Colliger. So at three-quarter time, it's a 54-point lead to the home side here at Galvin Park. We'll uh, take a quick...